Hey Team Yellow, it's Austin Pedreda from the Tennis Point product marketing team back with another product review and play test. Before we dive into the new 2023 Dunlop FX500, just wanted to make sure that you guys uh, drop a like, subscribe if you're not already, and also plug into some of our other social channels as we do have quite a lot in store for you all for the 2023 season and wanna make sure that you all are uh, plugged in, following along with us so you don't miss out on anything. Uh, now in front of us, we do have, uh, as I mentioned before, the Dunlop uh, FX500 2023 Racket Series. Just got back from the courts play testing it. Now I, I have played with the Dunlop SX300 uh, last spring. And that was really the first Dunlop racket I've picked up in probably 10 to 15 years. And um, I stray a little bit more towards, you know, the Wilson Blade, Pro Staff, or even the Babolat Pure Strike that we also play tested. Really find myself taking a liking to some of those more stiffer frames as they complement my game. Um, a lot better than some of those um, less stiff frames, like say like a Wilson Clash. Um, now, Dunlop does offer pretty much a racket in this series for any type of player. You can see on the ends here with the white handles, we have the FX500L and the FX700, which are what we could, would consider a game improvement rackets for maybe beginner to mediocre players, a little bit lighter on the arm and also do have a 16 by 18 string pattern. So it's a little bit op uh, more open, allows you to get a little bit more depth and spin on the ball. Now in the middle here, we have the 500 Tour, 500 and the 500 LS, which are what would be considered more performance-based rackets. They are a little bit heavier. They range from anywhere from 98 um, square inches to 100 square inches, and the weights also vary just depending on what your skill level is. I personally like the 500 Tour. Uh, it's 98 square inches, 11.4 ounces, 16 by 19 string pattern. It's pretty much the spitting image of what I play with with the Wilson Blade, uh, 16 by 19. As for all of the racket technologies from the previous model, the main core three that did transition over was the Sonic Core, which is just the material located in the tip of the hoop at the 10 and two o'clock position, which really just reduces vibrations and any kind of um, absorption when you're making contact with the ball, as well as the Power Boost frame geometry and the Power Boost Plus groove. However, some of the additions that Dunlop did make in this new model is the Power Grid string technology. Now in the previous model, uh, there was a little bit more of a condensed, str condensed string pattern in the middle and it widened out as you got closer to the frame. But with this uh, new, newly designed string bed uh, power grid technology really uh, allows for more even distribution across the entire string bed and really just packs a pretty mean punch on all your ground strokes and you can generate a lot more power than on the previous model, uh, as well as the stiffness. So they uh, did, Dunlop did engineer this racket to be a little bit, uh, not, as, not as stiff as the previous model, so it's a lot more arm friendly without, again, sacrificing that power uh, that Dunlop does engineer since this is their power uh, oriented frame. Felt really great on my forehands and serves, similar to the Babolat Pure Drive. I felt a lot of similarities in both of these frames, as they again are both power oriented frames. Uh, and we did play with a multi filament string, however, so uh, I feel maybe if we would have gone back out on the courts with the polyester string, I, I may, have, may have had a little bit more success. But uh, overall, would definitely still recommend giving it a try if you, if you like uh, generating a lot of power, placing the ball at ease, and um, really just dominating your opponent with power. So. Drop a comment below. Let us know your thoughts if you have or haven't played with the Dunlop FX. If you have any questions, we'd love to interact with you guys. And uh, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Advantage you.